So I was raised in Oxford, Maryland. I was born in Philadelphia. So we moved here probably, I want to say 1996. I was in the third grade, went to White Marsh Elementary School, and I'd never heard of Oxford. <laughs> My parents go, we're moving to Oxford. I said, where's Oxford? And coming from Philadelphia, it's a completely different world. Um, and I, I fell in love with it. We used to play t-ball down the street, go to Oxford Kids Camp with Jenny Stanley, and I used to work on the ferry. I used to you know, work at the old Pope's Tavern. And my first job uh, before that was at working at Latitude 38 um, as a dishwasher after school. So, you know, we, we, we love it here. It's a good, good, it's a good community. Uh, went to Nazareth College in upstate New York, which is in Rochester. I did my undergrad and graduate work there and uh, worked there for a while um, in, in, in the city of Rochester in marketing and politics in general. And um Around 2018, I was like, you know, I miss home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move back. There I was, and I'm back. Uh, and you know, I, I've been working in on different campaigns for a while, and then I decided to run for Oxford Town Commissioner in 2020. Uh, you know, one of the youngest ones here. That's my current job, but I also work for a company uh, in DC uh, um, as their, you know, tech marketing manager. So. Still do that my private work in the private sector and then do my uh, public service. But, you know, I also sit on uh, several boards here in, uh, in, as I'm sure you're aware, in, in, in Maryland as well. Not only the Maritime Museum Board, the Friends Board over there, but also the uh, Economic Development for Talbot County uh, Board. I, I represent Oxford on that. And then um, I do the Government Relations Board uh, uh, as well um, it, for the Chamber of Commerce. So very... Uh, very heavy lift. <laughs> my, so my, my, my family comes from Colombia, South America, right? Um, how to major is how you say my last name, but Jimmy J or Jimmy Jaramel is just easier. Um, and it's, it's weird because we had gone, I, I'd, take my, I'd taken my father to the White House, um, I'd say probably two years ago. And it, this was right before I became commissioner. And we'd done the Christmas tour, things like that in general. And my father started to tear up. And my dad's a very macho. Uh, he looks like he's Italian, but he's the most Latino Italian I've ever met. <laughs> and he, uh, he started to get emotional when we walked through the East Wing and there's Nancy Reagan on the, on the left. And I can't remember, I, I can't remember who the, one of the presidents are on the right when they're walking through. And he's, I said, Dad, what's wrong? Why are you crying? And he goes... I can't believe that I'm standing in the White House coming from a two bedroom apartment in New York City when I was, you know, where, where he was born and shared a bedroom with four of his, uh, you know, four of his uh, brothers, brothers. And then one sister slept on the couch and then my, my grandparents slept in the other bedroom. And he's just like, I, I'm just so proud that I produced a son that was able to enjoy this moment with and that's what keeps me going in anything i do is that strength and that prep that sorry i get a little worked up when i do that but you know um emotional uh with with pushing my family and you know pushing everything i do to make them proud and stories like that is what i think we've lost sight of in talbot county where the, the american dream whether you're latino whether you're black whether you're white you know, whether you're, you were born here and you're, you know, you're a fourth generation waterman. We've become so divided in this county that we've lost sight about helping different, you know, different neighbors, people that we might disagree with, you know, being able to enjoy a cold beer or something like that is, is where I think we've, we've lost sight of who we are. And that's why I'm running is to, you know, make sure that we have smart growth, but also, you know, my, my personal story that adds to why I'm running in general to hopefully connect this county again. Absolutely, so in economic development's one. So like in here in Oxford, we've been very lucky to start, you know, pushing things to, you know, make Oxford more attractable to, you know, different people coming, you know, moving here from during the pandemic or, you know, visiting still. So the Muse has just been bought, you know, the town owned it for a while 
but we've been able to make four affordable apartments now. And then also with the help of Richard Leggett, who owns Oxford Social, we've been able to, as a team, been able to have, you know, a hopefully have some storefronts put in there soon. So it's under construction right now, but it was a old decrepit building. And now it's going to be something across from the park where someone could enjoy ice cream or a sandwich. Now, I don't know what's going in there, but it's going to be something that fits our charm. And so that economic development, I'm hoping will continue those skills that I've been able to do, whether it's budgeting or, you know, whether it's being bringing new business in with the other two commissioners that I've been working with or the other grants with the help of Cheryl Lewis, our town manager, um, taking those skills and really applying it to economic growth in Talbot County as a whole. Um, and the other issue that I've been really working on is I, I definitely want to partner with parents and the school board. I mean, we, I went to Easton High School uh, and White Marsh and Easton Middle School. I don't recognize what I'm looking at right now. Uh, it's become very divided. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is our teachers aren't getting the respect they deserve is what, what, what I, what I believe is but also at the same time, the parents and teachers are, are very, you know, they're supposed to be connected basically. But right now the school board is really, I'm, I'm not really fond about what the school board's doing. Um, and I really want to see more results basically and see kind of where our, you know, where our schools are going and, you know, what we're, what we're focusing on and what we're investing in. And that's, that's what I think we need to see is, back into the old days where school was school, teachers had the respect from their students. And that's what I mean. And, and, you know, you know, parents, you know, knew their teachers, knew what was being taught to their students. Parents had a voice. And, you know, that's why I'm running as well as, you know, I believe in parental choice. I think parents should choose and play a more significant role in what their students are learning. Absolutely. So, I mean, I, I respect everybody that's running in the primary, as you pointed out. And as I've said, and running for a public office is never easy. And I respect anybody that's willing to do it. What is different from me is I bring more of a approach when it comes to, you know, different economic growth that we've done here. You know, I sit on, again, on the economic uh, council um, for Talbot County in general, but I'm also bringing experience from Annapolis I'm also bringing experience from Washington, D.C. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is government experience as well. So like, you know, I, I've worked in Annapolis um, in, um, uh, in, in the state capitol with Senator Colburn. And, you know, I've helped draft and push legislation through when it came to, you know, drug abuse. Uh, so using those skills and experience and also my education uh, with my graduate work and my undergrad work is, you know, continuing to push my ideas and experience experiences that I've had in government uh, to improve Talbot County and build off of the success that President Callahan has had so far and some of the other council members that won't be joining us again next year. Currently I've been endorsed by uh, Nicole Bennett, who's the first vice chair of the Maryland GOP. Uh, she's been one of my, one of my uh, biggest supporters uh, and she's fantastic. And, you know, I'm very approachable. So, you can always give me a call. I'm going to put my cell phone number on here, believe it or not. So don't get concerned, Dave. Uh, 410-226-6400. Call me anytime. You have any questions when you're watching this video. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm very accessible. And when I ran for Oxford Commissioner, I, I was, you know, I said, you know, I vote for my conscience. I will vote for what my supporters believe is the right Um avenue for this county and if that's not a good answer then don't vote for me <laughs> that that's the best i can do great thank you for doing this uh, i'm sure this will not be the last time we'll be talking to you in this election season uh, i can I, I i hope not dave but uh, i hope everything's going well and you know give, give me a call if anything you need <laughs>